Exalted be the name of the Lord. Holy, holy is the name of the Lord. Oh, Jesus. I greeted the whole church with the peace of the Lord Jesus. I'd like to invite the brethren to open the word in the book of Psalms. Psalms 62. Psalm 62. Psalms number 62. First and second verse. Psalm 62. Oh, to Jesus. Sixty-two. Psalm sixty-two. Verse one and two. Oh, to Jesus. Amen. Let's speak with the Lord. Truly, my soul s silently waits for God. From Him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. Blessed be the Lord. Lord God, we exalt your name. We your word, your word has been read. We ask that you apply in our hearts. Give your revelation, your blessing tonight. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. My brethren, we just sang a song previously to this last one that says the following. It doesn't matter the pain here and the short trial because the reward will arrive. We have gone through trials, I've gone through difficult situations. But what is, what's the matter, the pain here? If there, if our joy is going to be there in eternity, we are going to have our greatest joy to be with the Lord. And the word of the Lord says the following in Psalm 62, Psalm of David, the title says, a calm resultation uh, to trust in the Lord. David was a servant according to the, to the will of the Lord. He was set aside by the Lord from the womb of his mother and he took care of sheep. He was a shepherd. The Lord already had a, a great uh, plan for the li life of David, but the, li the Bible says that David was a servant according to the heart of God. But even though he was a servant according to the heart of God, None of it prevented him from going through trials and tribulations and difficult situations. The word of the Lord describes many situations which David had gone through. How many persecutions, Saul persecuting him, how many wars, how many trials. And the word of the Lord says the following. And in all of them, he was victorious. Why was there victory in the life of David? Because he trusted in the Lord. He would never go to any war and never face any trial without praying to the Lord. The Bible says that every time that we go to a fight, he would place that war before the Lord. He would ask, Lord, should I go there? Will I be victorious? And the Lord would always give the victory to David. David was a victorious man because he trusted in the Lord. He placed the Lord above all things. In the word of the Lord says the following. Truly my soul silently waits for God. From Him comes my salvation. We have placed our lives before the Lord, our hearts before the Lord. We are poor and in need. In the trials of this life, the tribulations, they rise up. How many of us are here, had a, a tough day filled with, uh, loaded with, charged with difficulties, but we are victorious in the Lord. 
Each one of us is victorious in the Lord because we place the Lord before all things. In the battle of the day, we could not have said, Oh, Lord, I'm not going to go to your house. I'm tired. I'm defeated. I cannot stand it. But the Lord changed our history. He changed our thoughts. It was pleasing to the Lord for us to be in the house of the Lord tonight, receive a blessing from His part. And if you are here in the house of the Lord tonight, it's because the Lord has a blessing for your heart and for your life. The Lord has something different for you. And the psalm continues saying, He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. What is a rock? Rock is for us something that is, cannot be uh, destroyed. Uh, you can only uh, destroy a rock with uh, specific tools. But the Lord is our unshakable rock. He is a God always present, uh, always protected us. The Lord has been our rock, our pre always present in the moment of anguish, in the moment of tribulations and trials. The Lord has been our rock, our salvation, our defense. He has defended us every day. Because each one of us has felt this blessing. If I ask each one of you who are here, how many victories? Have you had how many blessings you can testify about what the Lord has done in your life? There was a trial, there's a tribulation, there was even a situation of, that caused you to feel like giving up, but the Lord touched your heart and praying and seeking His presence, and you were victorious. How many of us here have had an experience to, to share regarding the Lord, a blessing to share? Hey, my brethren, and we are, we are not shaking. Nothing has shaken us. Nothing has moved us. The Lord has been a, a wonderful God. We only have reasons to thank this Lord, to glorify this God, because we have not been shaken. The Word cries. The world walks out about with bowed heads, but we always look towards the Lord. You look above. You always look forward. And we want to win. Overcome the trials, overcome the difficulties. And we are victorious in the presence of the Lord. We are victorious in the presence of the Lord. As we mentioned David, sometimes we also can mention the life of Job. He was a servant of the Lord. He had everything. Job had everything. He didn't need anything. But all this situation that happened in his life, everything was taken away. Look, his situation, everything that he had was taken away to the point where there were wounds in his, heart, in his body and a difficult situation. But Job trusted in the Lord. The trust, Job's trust was in the Lord. His friends came to him and said, Curse. His wife said, curse your God and die. But he trusted in the Lord. He placed his life before the Lord. He said, Lord, my life belongs to you. And the Lord there rewarded him greatly. He multiplied many times everything that he had because he trusted in the Lord. He placed his life before the Lord. He he didn't allow his try to allow him to get discouraged, but he trusted in the Lord. And our life is this, is to trust in the Lord. I don't know what you have gone through, what is your trial. I don't know your heart, I don't know your mind. But our Lord, he knows it. Our Lord searched the hearts, he searched the minds, he knows your need. So place before the Lord your, your life your anxieties before the Lord. Lord, I need this blessing. I need this. I need to receive this victory. And surely, the Lord will provide all things to bless you for life. In the same way that the Lord has answered to our needs. 
my, my brother, the greatest joy is like the song that we that we just sang. It doesn't matter if we have a short trial because well, our reward is awaiting us. This is the greatest joy is to be in eternity with the Lord. All the trial it will all pass. What we are going through is nothing. But our greatest joy is going to be in eternity with the Lord, and that's what we desire. This, that's what we are fighting for every day, for one day being in eternity with our God. Amen, my friend. Lord to Jesus. Lord to Jesus. Exalted be the name of the Lord.
Exalt the beating in the name of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy, holy is the name of the Lord. My brethren, the Lord, in the period of, uh, as we were seeking our prayer and service before this, our meeting before the service, the Lord showed in a spiritual gift a woman that has a, had a calendar. She had a commitment that had nothing to do with the church. She had something scheduled, but not to come to the church. She had a commitment, but not to go to the church. But an angel came, and he would blot it out, blot this, this schedule, and it put it in its stead a meeting to go to the church, and she would obey it. My brethren, that's our goal, is to obey the Lord. Sometimes it's difficult to obey, but when we obey, the Lord bless us. And the Word says that, it's better to obey than to sacrifice. It's better to obey. Because when we obey the Lord, He's even better. He always has a blessing for our lives. In another vision, the Lord was showing a man that had great anguish in his heart. He was very sad because he is going through a great trial. And tonight, the Lord was sending an angel, and the angel would anoint the heart of this man and would massage this heart. And this oil bring joy to him. And the Lord told him to remember his servant Job. Because through his faith, because of the faith of this man who is here tonight, the, he was going to achieve victory. Faith. To obey and to have faith. Amen. So we obey because we have faith. And what the Lord is, will, is going to provide for our lives. That's when we are victorious. Because with the victory comes a blessing. Amen, my brother. Let's stand up. Let's pray to the Lord, bring the service to a close. Lord God, we glorify your name. Praise you. Because you have blessed us to this day. And you have been present, God, with us, have taken care of us in our lives. We praise the Lord because we are a happy people. A people that has a living God, a God that speaks to our hearts, God that acts in a supernatural way on behalf of His, of the ones who are His. Who are his. We bless, we praise the Lord, because all the blessings that you give us every day, if you are here tonight, it's because it was you, des you wished us to be here. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. Uh, just a couple of uh, announcements this coming Saturday. We're going to have uh, evangelization with the adolescents. It's going to take place on the during the service at 7.30 p.m. The evangelization is of the youth. And they can invite people from any tribe, tongue, and nation. <laughs> and they can invite any person from any age. He is, the person is guest. He can invite whoever he wants to participate with him on this evangelization. And our role, the role of the church is to help this period. Amen. The church, the body of Christ, 
they promoted an event, and we, as part of the body, the body of the church, will also be present to help them in this evangelization, praying, and also in presence here this coming Saturday at 7.30 p.m. And then Sunday morning at 10.30, during Sunday school, children and intermediary are going to have their period of evangelization. And we are going to have, in the beginning of December, there near Orlando, we're going to have a seminar. The seminar, our seminar. Uh, last year was not possible because of the pandemic, but glory to God, we were able to uh, s schedule a little location for us uh, for Orlando. The, 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 we can have up to 400 people. We have already people that schedule uh, most of the of the the spots we still have 180 spots but there all the bread uh, we have 90 from Pompano but there is still time if you have any difficulty to make a registration we have uh, bread from the group of assistants of the deacons can help in this Pastor Ronildo and I also am here to help in whatever is necessary if the brother doesn't have the financial resources to pay the res for for the registration. Don't allow this to pr prevent you from going. You just contact me or Pastor Ronildo, and we are going to do something about it. And if the brother or sister don't have a transportation, have two options. You can uh, you can go with someone on the car and split the, the expense or you can go by bus or van but it's necessary for you to inform us earlier we have like nine people to go by van if there are up to 15 people we're going to go through van above this that we're going to have to rent a larger vehicle either a larger van or or micro bus we we'll also need to have this information for the bread we have very little time to provide all those things the seminar is going to start on Saturday noon, where they're going to serve lunch. At 1.30, the classes are going to start. Then we're going to have the afternoon snack, and then two more classes, and then dinner. On Sunday morning, we're going to have our breakfast, two classes. Actually, it's one class, and then breakfast, and then the Sunday school, and then we can return to our homes. The invitation for children, intermediary, and the lessons, Saturday, Sunday, are out there, the physical invitation, and we're also distributing the virtual invitation to put on Facebook, Instagram, and those social networks that you, the brethren, have and participate in. If anybody desire a prayer, a clarification for what was done tonight, and the spiritual gifts that were shared. We're here to give you the assistance. You just raise your hand so that we can identify you. Ten thirty in the morning on Sunday school is going to be the evangelization for the children and adolescents. Amen. Amen. Everybody has been blessed. Glory to God. So, see you tomorrow morning on Sunday school, 10 30 in the morning. And to all the peace of the Lord.
Acabou pra mais. Acabou pra mais. Estou contigo.